Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the Zeph Films community. I am, of course, Zeph Films, and I am here with you, bringing you episode number three in the demo record tutorial. Uh, in this one, we will be reviewing um, about five, six commands that you can use in demo record. Um, some of them, if not all of them, essential for uh, capturing screenshots and also that can be used in making your own little videos. The first command that we're going to go over is options. Uh, so as you can see we don't have a heads up display in here to access the options menu and pressing escape also does not bring up the options menu. So what we need to do to bring up the options is hit the uh, tilde key to bring up the console and type in forward slash options. And as you can see, this will bring up the options menu that'll allow you to change um, your display settings, your graphic settings, uh, and all the other settings that you can change in game. And to close it, simply click uh, apply. If you did do some changes, okay, cancel, or the X at the top right. The next command that we're going to go over deals with field of view. Uh, so the command for field of view is forward slash FOV, hit the space bar, and then you enter in a value. Um, the highest value is 75, which kind of zooms you out and is more of a situational awareness type of view. Uh, this kind of view is great for if you want to capture a video um, and you want to capture all the action that's going on in like an STF or something like that, or if you just want to get more stuff in your screenshot without zooming out too far. The next level, um, which is uh, the lowest number, is forward slash FOV 20. This brings your view in this brings your view in nice and close to give you that more cinematic look. Uh, this is good for getting up close, um, getting the nice detailed shots, and kind of putting things more, I want to say to scale. Uh, it, it feels like ESD is bigger in the background than your uh, standard field of view. Uh, but this is how you get that cinematic view. And if none of those work out, you can always go back to the default, which is forward slash FOV 55. Now you can play around with the different numbers. So you can go field to view 30, 40, 42, 65, 63. Um, play around with different numbers and see what will work for the uh, for the instance that you're working in. The next command that we're going to go over is render scale. Uh, essentially what render scale does is it adds um, I want to say more detail to your shot. Uh, if you're looking to do screenshots it will bump up the resolution of your screenshots. So if your computer is running native at 1920 by 1080 and you run the command at render scale 2 then you will get screenshots at the resolution of 3840 by 2160. If you run your render scale command at uh, 3, then you'll end up with a resolution of 5760 by 3240. Uh, because I am recording on a few different software right now, I'm not going to run the command. Uh, but here is some things that you should know for render scale. Render scale, the higher in number that you go, it will be more taxing on your system. Uh, so with two, it's two is a, a pretty good number for the majority of systems unless you are on a Celeron laptop. I probably would not suggest going to any render scale other than one, which is the default. Uh, but obviously the higher the number you go, the more taxing it will become on your system and the more sluggish it will be. If you're looking at doing video, I would not recommend doing or capturing video more than render scale two, as trying to do camera paths with a higher uh, render scale uh, may make your paths really choppy. Um, 
I've tried doing some shots at render scale 3 and they've come out a little choppy um, for the purposes of my types of videos which are very cinematic and up close I don't usually go higher than 2. The other thing that you should note is and I mentioned this earlier about how render scale 2 will um, like 2 will double your native resolution, 3 will triple your native resolution, so on and so forth. It will not give you uh, that resolution on your capturing software. So if you're running at render scale 2, which is 3840 by 2160, your capture software will still capture at the resolution that your system is set at. So try and keep that in mind. It does not mean that you will be able to bump up and get 8K video footage. No, 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 no. Your capturing software will still capture at the native resolution at which your computer is running at. The next command that we're going to go over uh, kind of is a uh, helps out. <laughs> Uh, with uh, fly-in messages. So if you're running a demo record file while you're in-game and you have friends logging in and out, those fly-in messages will carry over to demo record. But there is a command that will take it away. And that command is forward slash show game UI, then hit the space bar, and then the number zero to turn it off. One thing to note, is when you have the uh, game UI turned off, you cannot bring up the options menu, as you can see here. Uh, if you need to get access to the options menu, then you need to run the show game UI command again, except this time instead of zero, hit one, and that will allow you access to your options. The last command that we will go over is uh, dealing with uh, screenshots. So once you have your shot all set up and you know what you want to take, you bring down the console and uh, there's one or two ways you could do this. You could do forward slash screenshot and hit enter. Um, but one thing you should know about this is that this will save a screenshot in your screenshot folder as a TGA, which is a very large uncompressed file. Um, it will get bigger with more things that you add to it. So if you're running at render scale 3, field of view 20, and there's a lot of things going on, you could see a file size that's upwards to 100 megs and your system may hang while it's trying to save that file. To avoid hangups like that, I would suggest running forward slash screenshot underscore jpg and then that will take your screenshot as a jpeg and put it in your screenshot folders this is also the same screenshot folder that all your normal screenshots get that you take in game they get stored there as well and that is going to end it for in-game commands i hope this was uh clear uh, and if you have uh, any confusion please let me know in the comments and I will uh, do my best to clear it up. Um, usually <laughs> I don't, uh, the, the command part and the next episode is gonna be a little bit of a challenge for me to explain because I'm more of a, a doer. So hopefully by me showing you in video, um, it'll clear things up. But uh, yeah, so episode number four will be coming shortly and this will be going over the camera path editor and going over easy path. And that should be a, uh, a fun, interesting episode. Until then, have fun, and I'll talk to you later.